Hi families, welcome to the spring session of Girl Insert 2021. I'm Bianca Talamantes and I am the Early Learning Instructor AmeriCorps member at First Life Calusa. So I will be conducting the virtual story times, so I hope for the next 13 weeks you're able to log in and read along with me. So this week's book is going to be El Perro con Sombrero, which is a bilingual doggy tale by Derek Taylor Camp and illustrated by Jed Henry. And it's translated by Gabriela Revilla Lugo in Spanish. Pepe was a very sad dog. He had no home and no family to love him. See how he's just sitting there in the trash can as everyone else is walking around him? One day, Pepe was begging for food on the street when a sombrero flew off the balcony and landed right on his head. See how shocked he is? He's like, whoa, what just landed on me? He looked so handsome in the sombrero, a grocer gave Pepe a juicy bone. Yum. Then a movie director drove by in an expensive car. He shouted, cool, a perro in a sombrero. You must be in my movies. Pepe just looks at him like, hmm, okay. Pepe became the star of many great films. He played a cowboy. He played a romantic singer. In a comedy, he even ate a habanero pepper. Those are spicy, really spicy. He made a lot of money. See him chilling? He's on a little beach chair with his little juicer lemonade. He's he's in he looks like he's enjoying himself now. Hmm. Oh, it's a big house. But he was still sad because he didn't have a family. Lying in his dog mansion, Pepe had no one to pet him and hug him. A only his adoring fans gave him comfort. So he has a lot of fan mail. But even with this big house, Pepe's still sad. Hmm, I wonder what can make him happy. But someone did not like Pepe. El gato en zapatos. Gato, zapatos. El gato con zapatos. So, cat in shoes. For in this case, it looks like some fancy little shoes. <laughs> el gato en zapatos was the biggest star in the world before el perro en sombrero came along. He was a very jealous kitty cat. I should be the number one star. That dog would be nothing without that silly sombrero. The next day, El Gato en Zapatos snuck into Pepe's dressing room and stole his sombrero. <gasps> I don't know about you guys, but that doesn't seem nice. Why would the gato be stealing the sombrero though? Hmm. When Pepe arrived, everyone asked, where is your sombrero? Then Pepe saw El Gato. El Gato en Zapatos was escaping through the back window. Pepe took off after him. Run, Pepe, run! <gasps> Do you think Pepe's gonna get his sombrero back? Hmm, cats are fast. Let's see. Pepe chased the sneaky kitty through the busy streets through markets, through cinemas, through weddings, through parades. They're really going through all like all of town. But Pepe wants his sombrero, so you think he's going to get it? Soon, Pepe cornered El Gato in a playground sandbox. Give me back my sombrero, Pepe barked. <gasps> Little gato and zapatos doesn't look super tough anymore. <laughs> but then a little girl spoke. Look, Papa, a lost dog. <gasps> Do 
Do you think the little girl and her dad are going to be helping Pepe get his sombrero back? Let's find out. Pepe turned and saw a whole family. Mother, father, daughter, and son. It's a whole family. Can we keep him as a daughter? He can come with us only if he wants to, said Papa. Pepe looked at El Gato en Zapatos, then he looked at the family. Gato en Zapatos kind of looks ashamed, looks sad. Keep the sombrero, said Pepe to El Gato, then he jumped into the arms of the small girl. The family took Pepe home. They pet him and hugged him all day, and they snuggled with him at night. What happened to El Gato? That kind of looks like El Gato con Zapato's head. Hmm. You think he probably wants to join in with the family? Bebe seems to be having a good time with his family now. There he is, looking longingly through the window. So the family adopted him too. Now they were a big, happy family. <clears throat> perro zapatos, el perro con zapatos. Gato sombrero, el gato con sombrero. And Pepe was the happiest dog in the whole world. See, now they all have their shoes and they all have their sombreros. The end. So, looks like Pepe got his happy ever after with his family that he wanted when he was alone in the streets. So, it all worked out for Pepe and El Gato con zapatos. So, for this week's activity, we're going to be making our own paper hats. So parents, please um, assist your child in the instructions to fold the hat and allow them to decorate and have fun with their own hat, you know? And that is all for this week. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me at the email that I've been communicating with you guys or even call our office at 458-5555. See you next week.